Welcome back, everybody, to another Vintage Cube Draft. We're doing one more stipulation today, and uh, the stipulation is by subscriber Erdothar. And the stipulation was, initially, you have to drop all your lands within reason. And we've had trouble with land stipulations in the past, because sometimes you just don't end up getting enough uh, playables, or all the lands you pick are not the ones you need, so you end up getting, like, nine red sources for your two red cards and not enough other colors. So, the stipulation is now draft up to five, at least five lands per pack. So we can prioritize them higher if we like them, or we can just prioritize them lower if we don't, and we can just make sure we get those. What do you think the pick is, that being the case? If we weren't doing a stip, it would be Rafelos, but we are doing I a agree, stip. so we might not have any forests. Um, I don't know if it's... I think Tinker might actually be a trap. Like, I agree. I think it's only good if you get Blight still, right? I think it's probably Bayou. I think this is a great land to Keep open. it as is, yeah. It lets us play two colors. It's a, it, it, it's, it works well with uh, fetch lands. I don't think we want Splinter Twin because... With this stipulation, see, and then you get a pack like this, which has no lands. So you actually should make sure you take the lands when they're there. See, I've got to buy you. Is it just a signet? It's just pack rat. It's probably just pack rat. It's it's always pack rat, isn't it? Goes pretty well with the bayou too. Because it's black. Yeah. Correct. It's so funny how bad signets get. Like, they're not bad. They're actually very good. But it's funny how, how much worse signets get when you have moxes in the cube. Ooh, Goblet Shrine. That's an exciting land. I can see taking Goblet Shrine. Yeah, I'm not missing too much. And I, I, any land that, like, you can search, any, any lands you can use to search for um, with a fetch land is real high priority. Oh, there's Kazi from Kazakhstan. Old Kazoozle. And considering we have to take uh, five lands per pack, which puts us on about 15 lands in total at least, uh, we can feel pretty comfortable taking a card that's off color and splashing it. So, I like Sword. I like Kolagon's Command. I like Zealous Conscripts. We don't have red fixing yet, but that probably will probably will happen. Bricktop's Pig Farm. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Six months in a row. Probably what? command. What? Probably command. Yeah, I think I think command is most versatile. It also lets us get pack rat back if we discard it, or if they kill it rather. Ooh, arid mesa and blood crypt. Hmm. Arid mesa does get god in the shrine. Yeah, I think it's arid mesa here. Sister, number one prostitute in all of Kazakhstan. <laughs> oh boy, that's good. That's a good meme. Wow. That's from Borat. You ever seen Borat? Yes. That was a good movie. How do you feel about uh, Sasha Baron Cohen? He's a pretty funny dude. He is a funny dude. You're right. Me too. I'm also a funny dude. Did you know that? No, I don't think so. Well, that's unfortunate. Why do you Why do you want to hurt me so? Do that's what you I live really... for. Well, that's what you live for? Yeah. That's dark, man. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a hurtful guy. Yeah, you are. You're a monster. You're history's greatest monster, I would say. I don't know if I go that far. Well, it's not up to you. It's up to me. I have I was uh, voted history's greatest monster voter. Uh, decider. I broke a record today. What'd you break? What'd you, what record did My you break? My training. Um, so, like, you have to have, like, an average handle time, like, how long your calls are. And apparently... Oh, I bet there. your handle time is real long, if you know what I mean. No, it's actually real short, which is what you're supposed to do. So, I was, like, the quickest they've ever seen. Yeah. There's <laughs> guns in the West. There's jokes here that we can make, but... Yeah, there is. I'll, I'll, I'll refrain. But that's awesome, though, man. Good work. You got the... It's, are you working with a bunch of old people? No. Because you could probably crush them if you were. Like, physically? <laughs> well, yes, physically, but also technically in your in your technical prowess area. What's no, that? there's not really a lot of old people. It's probably Marsh, right? Um, yeah. Mike, don't let Frank tell you you're dark, either. He said... Life is like a song that goes on too long. And I, what are you saying right now? And I had a sad. Oh, look at this. Look at this beauty. Not Progenitus. We're almost at our, we're almost. <laughs> oh God, dude. We drafted a Progenitus deck with Natural Order the other day. And he was literally in our opening hand every single game. Of course he was. <laughs> of course he was. I like Drag Tusk, Shriekmaw, and Nicol Bolas here. And I like Nicol, and I like uh, Dreadbor, I guess. What do you think, man? I'd take... I don't know. I don't know, man. This pack is tough. This, yeah, this is actually pretty tough. 
I don't like Nicobolas because we're not blue yet, so we have no incentive to take a blue card. We could take be Shriek Maw. I like Shriek Maw. I think that's fine. You don't like Tusk though? We got two fixed in for green. All right, take a Tusky Boy. I like a Tusky, and we can also get Tusky Boy back with Colagon's command. That's pretty. You can say that about literally every creature we draft from the, this point forward. And and even before that, actually, it doesn't matter when we drafted it. We could always get it back with Colagon's command. It's true. It's probably Fraley's. I think Fraley's is so fantastic in this cube. Lava? What's lava? That's what you ste- that's what you got to watch out for when you're a little kid. You can't step on the lava. Um, I don't know if you know this, but lava is pretty dangerous to adults as well. You want to avoid it pretty much any age. It's very hot. It's a fair point. I had not considered that. Yeah. We might be able to. We might be only have four this time. I don't know if there's no land that's coming back. Lord but bring to light. It's. I don't think I don't like about bring to light is creature instant or sorcery. You can't get like planeswalkers with it. If you can get planeswalkers with this, I think it'd be OP. But I don't like that we don't have blue right now, and we may not get blue, so I really don't want to go into another color when path is great. No. This just is like the one deck where bring delights kind of a thing. Please. I do I think I do have a crush on Fraley's. She never lets me down. She's like the Nick Fury of of Planeswalkers. Oh, what about Olivia Voldaren? Or Cast Down. I like Cast Down better. Do you? Yes. There's a lot of legendary creatures in this in this cube though. I want, you really. to, I want you to think about that. Not really? How dare you? How dare you? You can also take Flicker Wisp. Alright, I'm going to take the cast down. It's easier to cast down. Is it, is it harder to cast up? You're harder to cast up. Uh, I don't think Goyf is actually good in the cube because it's very hard to get multiple permanent types in your graveyard, I think. We got one fetchy, though. I don't think it's port. I think we're just going to take no, voice. We're never playing a colorless line in this deck. Yeah, crazy? that's. I think port is real. Is, port's pretty much a trap in this deck because you, I think we might have two lands, but. Or one land shy, but. No deed? Uh, well, too late now. Yeah. Gideon or Master? I like Master better. I do too. We're just going to have to get six lands next pack. We'll, we'll put lands higher. I don't think we missed that many lands. Like, we actually took most of them. There's been a lot of packs with no lands. Also, I forgot we were doing that stip, so good thing you reminded us. I was just like, yeah, just take whatever. Oh, I, oh wow, the Dreadboard came back. That was nice. on my short list of cards to take. Mana Crypt seems pretty good. And there's no lands in this pack, so I don't no, know, man. no feel bads. It kills you. I'm going to move these over to the side so that we know how many we pick up in each pack. It does kill you, but it also kills the opponent, too. How do you feel about that? The spike in me says take it. JB, the message literally above yours is what the stipulation is. Um, But I will note, we will probably lose one match to it. We got life gain. We got Thrag Tusk. We got... Uh, yeah, right. Take it then. Yeah, I think it's Mana Crypt. I like a... Oh, it's blue. It's blue. It's blue. Dum -dum. But it's also green. It's true, but it's also blue. Huh. It's a lot of two drops here. We gotta take some lands, man. You're not wrong. Is it, Car is it Caracas? Caracas is a land. It's actually pretty, pretty good. Mm, it's only one color. It is, but it's a land. It still fulfills the land. Plus, like we have no blue cards, so this is basically one color right now too. Okay. I think it's actually Kregas. It, like, it bounces things like Lyra. It bounces things like Leovold. Like, I mean, you don't want to bounce a Leovold with it. Don't get me wrong. Let's go on the main deck. You can go over here because you're basically a land. But yet you left the Krakas in. Because I want to I want to know how many lands oh, we drafted okay. in this pack. I want to know. Can you show me? No. I'll never show you. Copperline Gorge? That's actually pretty good. It's actually a pretty good pickup for us. I would rather have this Golgari Signet, but I think Gorge is pretty good. We also have Through the Breach. Relevant. I'm going to take a Gorge. I think more it's like important. Through the Beach. Is it more like that, you think? Yeah. Hmm. I didn't think that was true, but... uh. Okay. I think the only problem with this dip is, like, you end up taking, like, high picks. 
over lands, so you end up wheeling a lot of things, but nothing you really want too highly. Yeah, you get a bunch of mediocre picks. Um, and like I said, my concern <clears throat> my concern with this tip in general is that like we'll have a bunch of white lands, right? Like we have one, two, three white lands right now. But we only have like two white cards, so we're gonna be like heavy green, black, and you want to make sure you pick up the green black lands. Speaking like a, of one, like that, that's actually a really good one. Nothing on this pack that I'm super I'm upset about. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind Demon Lord Bells and Lot coming back. That card's actually pretty okay. Or Stoneforge. That'd be pretty sweet. We don't have any art. We don't have any equipment not yet. Not but yet. I knew he was gonna say it. We do not have it yet. My name is Jeff. My name is Taco. Your name is Taco. Yeah. Where are we getting tacos, man? You know where. I think it'll still be good. Like it's five forty-five now. So. Okay, I'm just saying. I mean, I'll go anywhere really. I'll go to Chipotle and then we can watch some rest of development or something. I really go to T Flats and Chipotle. All right, we can do that too. I don't even care. Um, I do. I also hope that Dromoka wheels actually. Dromoka is pretty sweet in this cube as well. Most opponents don't know that there's text on Spear of Heliod or on Leovold for that matter. Yeah, yeah. That's a uh, that's a reference to the previous draft. I don't know if you knew that. Okay. Do you see this guy? Chromium yeah. the Mutable. Four and, and Esper mana for a 7-7 seven, seven flyer with flash, and this spell can't be countered. Discard a card until the end of turn. Chromium the Mutable becomes a human with a base power and toughness 1-1. One, one. Loses all abilities and gains hexproof. It can't be blocked this turn. So if they try to kill it, you just make it a 1-1, one, one, and then it turns back into a 7-7. Seven, seven. Hmm. Seems pretty it's sweet. Card. It's pretty sweet to uh, for the control decks. This also got flying... Yes, EOT, I'll flash in my 7-7 seven, seven that you can't counter. I'll untap. I'll make him a 1-1 one, one when you try to kill it. It's not terrible to do with it if you have a flying block. Yeah, but it's got to be a 7-7. Seven, seven. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Orborg seems pretty good. We have quite a lot of black. You might be right. <clears throat> I'm not really passing up much here anyway, except for like the Abyss, I guess. Uh, we, I mean, we don't have a natural order deck. We have one creature to sacrifice to natural order before turn four, and literally zero creatures to get with a natural order. Um, I kind of like Angel of Sanctions, but... We do have a lot of white fixing. It becomes a 1-1 one -one gets blocked. It doesn't get blocked because the ability is literally, it can't be blocked. We accidentally took that, but oh. I think that's fine. Actually, like, like if they if they try to kill it and then block it, it literally says, oh, if they block it first, I guess. I see what you're saying. But it does have unblockable when it's blocked. What are we what are we taking here? Um just the Leshnorn? Leshnorn seems pretty good. Yeah. Razor Bridge ticket's also an option, but I think Leshnorn's pretty uh pretty pretty good. I mean also you're assuming that they're just gonna run their chromium into your flyer. I mean they're playing a control deck. They can literally just counter your removal spell. Um We could take Seacrum Post, but we're not in blue. I think it's just Fatal Push. Actually, we have Pack Rack. Maybe it's Reanimate here. It's from any I graveyard. Guess. I think it's fine. It's from any graveyard. See, and this is what happens. You get the you get all the non the the lands that aren't your color, right? It's Vind Vindicator Monastery Mentor. We have a bunch of cheap removal spells for Monastery Mentor. I don't think we need any more removal, to be honest. This kills Planeswalkers, though. True. Pretty relevant. I like Mentor as a threat, though. We also only have five creatures, so let's go Mentor. Ophiomancer? Beast within? Ophi, Ophi, Oph. Beast within? Nah, Ophi. Is it Ophiomancer or Beast within? All right. 
Tri Builder. Seems good. Dark Petition. Dismember with Thrun. Thrun never impresses me. Really? Thrun always impresses me. Thrun's real hard to deal with. All right, well... Yeah, but this thing's just, like, bigger and better than him. Like, he's just a 4-4. Four, four. Come here. Elder? Sure. Erborg came back. Gonna take that one without even looking. That's pretty sweet. And I think it came back. So hey, we had five. Despite everyone literally complaining in the chat, we literally picked up all lands from that, so we actually need six next pick. And a Eureka. More like your crappa. Yeah, it is, but it's more like your crappa. More like your grandpa. Got him. Did you? Got him. Does uh... Windshub Teeth good for us? Uh, it can get a Gala Shrine or a Bayou. So, I think that's pretty good. I also like a Lyra. Draw a Tree Speaker is not bad. We're very heavy black-green and we're splashing the white cards. You give you a lot of white fixing, right? Yes. It's probably been swept either, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Badlands is very good. Did you put the lands in the pack? Oh, you did. Good job. Let's sort by convert man cost, so it's nice. Right, right in the front there. Birds of Paradise is like the ultimate land. We already... Do we have... <laughs> it is. It's true. Why doesn't Lyra have Vigilance? Is that hard? Um... It's Lyra of Vigilance would be very good. Like, she's not underpowered now. Why are you like this, I guess, is my question. Isn't she already, like, a better Baneslayer Angel? Um, situationally better, yeah. I think it is Badlands, actually. Badlands is great. We can get it with Verdant Catacombs and Arid Mesa. Delta? Is Delta any good? It gets Badlands and Bayou. But that's pretty much it. Raging Green's very good. Are any of these other cards better? Bone Shredder, Abrupt Decay. Nah. Ravine it up. Yeah, I think it's actually Ravine. Ravine's great. It's not Cradle because we only have 10 creatures right now. Yeah, we don't have a lot of early creatures either. Overgrown and Taiga. Okay. Gonti. I think Gonti's actually real strong here. Sure. I think one of these, one of these three will come back. I'm pretty confident about that. I mean, we already have three fetch lands. We have an Arid Mace, Everton, Catacombs, and a Windswept Teeth. I don't think we need a, a third off-color fetch land. Dragon Lord of Tarko would be sick to wheel, too. Concealed Copper Boy? I'm sorry, Concealed what? Copper Boy? Concealed Copper Boy. What about Liliana? And then we can reanimate something. We only really have, like, one reanimate target. We do. You're, well, sure. But she's still Liliana. It's still a Planeswalker. Sure. Oh, we can actually... Gonti with Caracas, we can actually bounce around Gonti. That's pretty baller. Yeah, I think it's Liliana. We're always going to play Liliana, I think, so... Scrabble God. Oh, I like Goblin Dark Dwellers. What can we get with that? Dreadbore, Ultimate Price, Cast Down, Reanimate, Path. Hmm... Yeah, but the Scarab God, though. We're not even, we don't have a single blue land. Summon Library could also be very good. Or Eternal Witness. Actually, Unbarrow Rite seems good, right? Yeah. Well, I think, I think it's Library or Unbarrow Rites. What are you thinking? I think Library is better than Rites. I agree. I think in our deck it is, for, sh for show. Oh, I wish we had a blue land real bad right now. Is it a sword because we have a bunch of nerds? It's a good sword. It's one of the better swords. I don't think it's any other card in this pack. Yeah, it's it's good. It's good. Oh, we got a land. Hit a land, boys. Just take it to fill the requirements. <laughs> it's definitely Huntmaster here, right? Huntmaster seems sick. 
Sure. It gains us life to go with our Mishra's workshop. Also, any of these four drops with uh with two colorless requirements are pretty sick because we can play them off of on turn two with a mana crypt. Marry me, I'm better looking than Matt. I have no idea what any of that means. What are you saying right now, Cobalt? I don't know what any of that means. Okay, so you said Mary instead of Mary. And then you said, I'm better looking than Matt. And you meant Mike. And How do you get those wrong? I'm not even... I don't understand. Manic Vandal, Reclamation Sage, and Lyra. It would be Reclamation Sage over Manic Vandal, but is it just Lyra over both of them? Lyra. It's probably Lyra. We already have Fraley's to deal with artifacts. Um... <laughs> GFN, SLS, GLH, GL8. Is it just, what is it? Is Lyra? Yeah, we're just taking Lyra. Fine. Sacred Foundry, boys. Face Fetters is real good, but got land requirements, buddy. Oh, Abrupt Decay and Bone Shredder? And Big Brimmy? Hmm. Brimmy's kind of hard to guess. It's got to be Abrupt Decay, right? Uh, how relevant is Abrupt Decay? I mean, it kills lots of problematic permanents. It kills Moxes. It kills Mana Crypts. It kills all kinds of things. Sure. Kills Ancestral Recall? Nope. Sure doesn't. <laughs> but it could if it wanted to. Still don't think so. Okay, but maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, you didn't think about that, did you, dummy? Oh, look, the land came back. Land it is. Oh, look, the other land came back, too. Oh, we got there, boys. Looks like 15 lands to me, guys. Got em. How many is this? 15? Look at that. Look at all 15 of our lands. Two basics. Which actually makes you have my Elder and Sakura Tribe Elder. A You're lot never worse. casting that card. Either of them. Who? what? That's a discard outlet. For our one reanimation target. Yeah, but it's real good. If they're playing small creatures. If they're not, it's kind of okay. <clears throat> Alright, let's uh, make this pile a thing. Good lord. Let's take out the lands first. Make it a little easier. Take out the lands first? Yeah. Oh boy. So we need one cut. Are we counting mana crypt to the land? I think so, right? Yes. <laughs> Which is actually worse because uh, we actually want more basics. Uh, it might just actually cut Yavimai Elder because it's double green. It only gets basics. Yeah, it only gets basics, so we're actually probably cut, not going to yeah. be able to, to do that, boy. Wow. We could cut Secure Tribalder, but we don't have anything else to really put in its place. Oh, it also only gets basics. Right. But, I mean, our odds of drawing both of our... If we put two basics in, our odds of drawing both are pretty low. So this is already 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Verdant Catacombs can hit uh, Goblet Shrine. So eight sources of white, which is pretty good. Um, how many sources of red? We got one, two, three, four, five. Let's for the, three cards, that seems pretty appropriate. Over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Definitely don't need any more reds. Uh, that's pretty good. Oh, we, we can get Sacred Crown Windshield Piece, so it's actually eight. Wow. So that's pretty good. Uh, eight sources of red. Not No mountains are coming in. Sources of green, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Definitely use a green. Sources of black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seems no, fine. four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight. So we just add one, one, one forest. Do we just play all of these lands in one forest? I think so. I also think I forgot Caracas. So, uh... and then we can just get the one forest with our Sakura Tribal there if we hit him. Yeah. Is Imp better than... It flies sometimes. Or am I thinking of a different card? No, it does. <clears throat> if you have Threshold, right? Is that better? I don't know. 
I was like, why don't we, we just bring in Student of Warfare? Is it white to pump this guy? It's got to be right. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Actually, it's is it is it rough? Our mana base should be fine. How many white sources? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine white sources. I think Student would be fine in this deck. Cut the tribe. Yeah. All right. This is an interesting deck. This is super interesting. But we hit our mana requirements. 15 lands. We did it. Also, all you need is two white to make this a 3-3 first strike, which is a formidable a formidable threat. That's a big boy. You're right. That is a sizable boy. I will play first. Just turn one anything? Turn one... Yeah, we'll keep this hand. Turn on Sylvan Library into turn two Huntmaster. I mean, presuming there is a... Yeah, in theory, right. Our opponent said, what up? Yo, what up? What up, pimps? Oh, five. Wow. In a three-round league? That's weird. Pack two, pick one, open Snapcaster, go with my Ancestral. Thank you for letting me know that Vintage Cube is online. Anytime, buddy. Oh, Soul Ring. Thirst Jealous. doesn't kill them. Theirs is way better. How dare you. Oh, we lost the flip. Already dead. I mean, we kind of did it. Um, put you on top. Go to 13 here because we're super aggressive. Play you... Play Ophiomancer. Agree is real. Well, I mean, I like, like it though. We gained two from Huntmaster, so that's the thing, right? Do you play Commander? Thoughts on Elder themed Commander decks? Um, I don't actually play that much Commander. I don't. I don't dislike the format. I just don't play much. And we get Huntmaster next turn, which is pretty sweet. Ideally, we just don't lose any more flips, right? Mm-hmm. What they just do? Lingering Souls? That's pretty good. Ready? Ready? Here we go. Did it. Never didn't never didn't have it. Um Yeah, well it doesn't do much here. Put on top. Put on top. They also don't have black mana, so I'm really reluctant to play. What do you call it? What you call it? Urborg. Urby. Actually, we can Liliana discard a Leshnorn and then a Leshnorn, which is actually pretty insane. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about that. Yeah. One, two. If we can have... if we Actually, next turn we get Urborg. We discard, we play Liliana, discard a Leshnorn, play a Leshnorn, and we can actually attack for like a million. So that's actually pretty impressive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. <laughs> that sounds good. Mm, dislike. Oh boy, they're just gonna. Yeah, this is gonna be great. Yeah, we just. We're gonna take seven, eight, nine. We go to six. Uh, we just can't lose the flip, I think. Come on, one time. Don't lose flip. We lost the flip. That's unfortunate. <laughs> it's not great. Put you on top. Put you on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11. They take 11 and they lose their board. It's worth. But the problem is we go to three. Uh huh. So we're literally like living on the edge. Alternatively, I don't know what our plan is though. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know actually how we navigate this game otherwise. Because he flips, he kills our Orphream answer. Like, it gets real bad. Plus, I mean, no gamble, no future. Yeah, that's correct. We have to, we have to gamble. Really, wish reanimate didn't make you lose life. I, yeah, you and me both, man. You and me both. This is such an epic sweat. This is a sweat, and then the epic for sure. Because he's like, I lose my board, but 
There's I'm, a decent chance I'm dead. I'm winning. This is Schrodinger's Mana Crypt right here, man. I'm both dead and alive at the same time. Just the fate of turn. And we probably win this game. We got lethal. They also only have... Oh god, they're just passing and they're like, let's just see if you die. We died. Oh. Well, we tried. <laughs> that I, was a good game, though. That was still... I think that was still pretty sweet. I have no regrets. And I don't even feel bad. Man, if we wouldn't have taken that extra four to play that Overfame answer. But then the game would have been so different. Um, this hand seems great. Yeah, I wouldn't mulligan it. Yep. I think we lost two flips in a row. No, we lost... I think we, we won we one and then flips. lost three. Yeah. Oh. I'm definitely abrupt decaying this. Yeah, I don't want to get Jason Mind Sculptor next turn. Agreed. You just go mentor into kill whatever you play. I don't understand. Why did you have to use Crypt there? Urborg lets you cast her. What is it? I mean, it was already in play. What does it matter? It's literally just mana that's in play. I'm not sure I understand your question. I mean, we get to either keep Crypt up untapped, which is two colorless mana, or we get to keep Needle Spires up, which is white, black, red. So... I mean, Neil Spire is just a better representation of that we can have something to play. Yeah, Crypt doesn't damage us when we use it. It damages us every upkeep. No, you can use Crypt as many times as you want. Um, going to ultimate price you because you're a big dummy. And we get them tokes. Multiple tokes? I'll just play this guy. I think our deck is actually pretty sweet. Mana Vault doesn't Mana Vault doesn't damage you when you tap it though. Mana Vault damages uh if it stays tapped during your upkeep. Oh, that's pretty good. If only it was legendary. That's what I say about you. If only Mike was legendary. I think I'm pretty legendary. Uh, we didn't play Caracas because we have a Raging Ravine, so we just play that instead. Um, Can we just get in there with a Raging Ravine? That's what I'm wondering. I kind of like it. He's blue-white. What is he going to do? I don't know. Bounce it? That's fine. <laughs> I guess the worst thing that could happen is, nope. like, Fencer, bounce your Raging Ravine. <laughs> <laughs> Block your mentor. Yeah, this is terrible. Yeah, that was pretty good, man. Should have just kept the cast down up. Well, the universe is a simulation. Spaghetti Toucher, you mean Mana Crypt, not Mana Vault. This is this is what's leading to confusion. Oh. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Have fun with your Elish Norn, I guess. Oh, boy. Hey, look at that cast down. That's yeah. Look at that cast down. It was indeed. Oh, I had fun. How about you? I can't say can't <laughs> say the same, my friend. I believe you mean mana burn. Are you guys talking about mana clash in the chat right now? Yeah, this is what I mean. Like, look, cast down kills none of the creatures that have been involved in their. It kills that. Why wouldn't... That's a weird choice, man. I don't understand what you just happened. back in the game. Thanks, buddy. We can also play a pack rat here. Oh, because we have Caracas, so we can just bounce it. Oh, yeah, that's actually pretty sick. All right. Yeah, that would have been great. On board, uh... It's like he just tutors for us. It's actually... Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty insane. Our opponent played Crown Caracas. We didn't. Yeah, we were like, oh, I guess we're dead here. 
I don't know. There's a lot going on, man. Every one of my lands does stuff. What do you want from me? Boat. Can I have a boat? Uh, I don't have any boats at my disposal currently, but I we could we could look into getting you a boat in the future. Okay. So we traded a bribery for a cast down. That's actually just fine. One called it Buck. Definitely not Rob. <laughs> I don't think that is Rob, actually, because he's not online right now. Who are you? Who are you? Definitely not Rob. Oh, I see. Can we just draw a Leshnorn and not right now because I don't have the mana to cast her, but in the future? Okay. Okay. A reasonable request. I thought it was. A reasonable request. Give me a request. <laughs> do we just attack with this guy? They have two cards in hand. Do we just do the Raging Ravine again? Yeah, sure. What could go wrong? I don't like all in rat time just yet. We want lands because we do have to. We can't make. We could make two rats actually. Is that better than the two cards though? I don't know. That's the thing. Dragonus really isn't doing us any favors right now, so I can see discarding that. I don't think Ophiomancer. I think Draxus is better than Ophiomancer. If that's the case, then do we just get in there with everybody? Yeah, well, it'll still only be 3-3. Three, three. If we triple blocks it, our, pack, our rat dies. We trade one rat for one spectral procession, which is fine. Oh, yeah. You still get to keep the other tokens because that card's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You get to keep them because that card is utterly ridiculous. I'm worried about a Wrath of God, to be quite honest. I don't think you spectral if you're going to play Wrath. And I definitely don't think you don't block if you're going to play Wrath. So I guess we'll just discard everybody and see what happens. All right, I mean, he's got a wrath. He got us. We're all in on he, the Packham's McRadams. He'll find sinker us perfectly. You worried about a rat of God? <laughs> it's not even funny. I'm not laughing at that. Oh God, here he goes. Oh, they're gonna swing first. They're gonna be like, all right, let me let me attack first, and then I'll swing, or then I'll then I'll rat. I'll ponder first, and then I'll rat of God. I I didn't have money for the toll today, so I had to get these insufficient funds due sheets. It says insufficient funds noticed. At this time, please exit the toll road at the next exit. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm just going to go to my destination because I owe you. And it was so sad because I was, it was like $1.50 each. I'm just like, I don't have cash on me. Okay, well, they're rathing, so that's cool. They expect you have cash? Why can't you just swipe your card, man? Because it's 2018 and they don't have that technology yet. Oh, right. Well, my mistake. we went all in on the pack rat and it didn't work out because they have wrath of God like you do. I don't think they'd attack otherwise, right? Yeah, there's no way you attack here unless they just don't have an answer and they're just going to concede, but... Oh, Declaration in Stone. That's also good. Oh, did they target the wrong one? Oh, for each not token. Okay, so there was one. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's investigate. Actually, maybe we just attack with this guy. One, two, three, four. Attack with you. That's probably better, right? I'll keep the Caracas up just in case. What are you mumbling about? Life. I mean, this puts him to five. You can always go. So they lost the declaration. We lost three creatures, but we also got a clue out of it. So it was a two for three. It's not terrible. This card's obnoxious. Fetch land. Just regular land. Okay. They have one card in hand. All right. Oh, no oh, attacks. Okay. That's a good one. That's a good boy. We can go Huntmaster Voice here. One, two, three, four. That's probably better than cracking a clue, I think. Took a counter spell? Wow. You're very good at this game. Obviously. I should have played Voice first. Oh, I'm so bad at this game. They're very good at this game, and I'm very bad at this game. Post... Post counterspell, voice of resurgence. It doesn't feel good. Man. It feels bad. I just didn't think our last card was a counterspell, so I didn't actually play around, and that was terrible. Oh god! I mean, they would have countered this guy instead, but then we get to resolve a huntmaster. So, oh, I'm well aware why we play voice first. I just didn't even think about it. This is not a strategy that's lost on me. It's just a strategy I didn't actually reasonably consider okay that's actually pretty great 
Oh, and we get to keep up Caracas? Oh, wow. That's impressive. Gonti, bounce Gonti. Go on the mill plan. Oh, this is exciting. I don't think we're ever casting Armageddon. That seems terrible for us. Correct. But I'm glad they don't have the option to do that now. Do we just take opposition? I like it. Otherwise, we take blink. Opposition seems real strong here. Get something good? We'll see. Oh, big Gan, though. You are a big Gan, aren't you? Let's see what this is. It's a Blightsteel Colossus. Oh, we get a free thing because they did it on our turn. That's fantastic. Nice. Nice. In the voice that the uh, the Soul Survivor uses when they when they open a lockpick. Nice. You know that voice? Nope. Really? Whenever you open a lockpick? Actually, the funny thing is, having a voice in play almost worked out better now because we just got a free guy out of it, so... Not terrible. Do we bounce Gonti here? I think so. They have all flyers. He's not really doing much for us. <laughs> we definitely can't bounce True Name. Not, not because he's not legendary, but because... Multiple reasons. Actually, we should have... Crack the clue. That's that's the reason. I totally forgot about the clue. I want to hit more lands. So. Also, we wanted Gonti because of the opposition. There were several reasons we didn't do that. I guess we'll just do it again. <laughs> I think that's fine. Are they, they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. They actually have a bunch of dudes on board, though. I think we just have to play opposition. Crack clue. Even if lands can target, it's not legendary. So, so, like, it doesn't work for multiple reasons. That's pretty good. Get that prowess, boy. Man, where's Monastery Mentor when you need it with the, uh, the opposition out? What up, the awesome Delp? Um, probably not going to tap anything down here. But I will tap a bunch of your stuff down next turn. Tap of your bird. Tap of this guy. And tap another one of these dudes. Ghost of the Sun. Did you, you did draft opposition after all? <laughs> there is an opposition here. You are not wrong, sir. This is aggressive, right? Oh, they didn't come in with the true name nemesis. That's why. Okay. God, this stupid friggin' Amiri angel probably gonna path this now because i just don't need to be dealing with it anybody got time for that one two three four conti again give me a one mana creature whoa oh oh boy how many card types do we have in here? I wish it would tell me right now, but it does not. So I guess we'll have to pop this out manually. Instant creature two. We have two card types. That is not going to get the job not done. Not getting there. Not getting there. I think we just control magic and take the uh, mirror angel next turn. That seems good. Right? It's, we're definitely not taking Twill Sky. Why not? Because it's terrible. I mean, it taps down a thing. It redirects some things. I don't know, man. I just work here. 
You redirect nothing. You redirect nothing. Um, I'm going to play this now because, you know, reasons. All right. Well, what up, John? Good to see anybody. Always a pleasure. The real question is, how do we be this true name noses? Uh, we don't. <laughs> Actually, I'm probably not going to tap this because I want to steal it, so I want it to be untapped. But... I don't think we can afford that. I don't think we can either. I don't, it's... Let's make sure we tap the right one. I don't want to like target my own guy with it or something. Okay, I just did. Okay, so choose a creature. This one. Okay, it's just it's just there's a slight lag. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We take seven if they alpha, but like they don't have the luxury of alphaing. Is really the problem? They have to keep like three guys back in order to to not die. That's mine. All right, so yeah, if they're just attacking with one dude, I'm pretty okay with that. They're just literally yeah, hitting just lands. Attack with the Trinity Nemesis and leave the four tokens back. Because we can tap all their tokens, and then we can attack with Raging Green and kill them. Hmm. Fair point. <laughs> oh, I see. Because of their death. <laughs> uh, yes. Is Reanimate good here? What do we got here? Jace Vince probably we got a Venser. Jace. Monastery Mentor could be very good with... Oh, wow. Reanimate Monastery Mentor? Into, like, paths? Into control magic? Reanimate Monastery Mentor, control magic. Um, God, but we have to take both. So we take four, five, six, seven. We go to four. True Name Nemesis is basically killing us. Uh, I think we're just going to put it back for now. Put on top. Put on top. This is also yours. So you're going to be real sad about this one, too, I think. And this guy gets to trigger. Wow. I like getting Huntmaster. That's pretty good. Because we only take two from doing that. And we also get another wolf. No. This is pretty good because we get the... Uh... This guy's a 6-6 six, six now, but then they just block it with this guy. Alright, we'll just pass here. Oh, and we just win that game. All right, sweet. God, Aleshnorn is such a beating against them. Look how good Caracas was. They literally couldn't get Aleshnorn, so we killed them. Did you see it happen? I saw it. We're on the draw, so I actually think Knight of the Whatever is fine. And we also have a ton of white sources. I think this is actually playable. How do you feel about Liliana that? seems pretty bad in this matchup. I agree with you. Not Kolagon's command, though. That seems good. Oh, uh, I don't think we're cutting cast down. Like they have, <clears throat> they do have a mirror angel. They have selfless, selfless specter, whatever. I mean, they have creatures. I think it's better than Liliana, especially when they're making a bunch of one ones. But Ghost of the Sun. Since you drafted opposition, sometimes you should draft five color good stuff. Isn't this four color good stuff? It's kind of like four color medium stuff, I guess. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, I'll take the pepperoni medium stuffed. <laughs> That's my favorite kind of pizza. A any, pepperoni. Any hand that lets you cast pack rat is a good hand. I agree with you. Plus we can get there. The Knight of the White Orchid. I mean, we need another white source, but it is possible. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> <clears throat> what is this going to be? Oh, Jace Friend's Prodigy. I almost want that guy first. What do you okay. think? You don't think so? Mm, what does that do? 
it prevents them from like countering future spells. True. Or killing future cards. Well, unless it's on their turn. Harmon JB, thank you so much for the five months resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. What did you say? Did you say something important? Probably not, right? Nope. I like cards like this in the graveyard because that's a that's a fine target um, for what do you call it? Reanimate. Like I'll pay three life for a blade splicer. That seems good. Emerson Klein Gaming, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome. Uh, we can cast that guy. That's pretty cool. So, is Monster Mentor or Ophiomancer? It's got a Mentor, right? Yeah. Does he have Venser again? I mean, if they do, we get a token. And then we get another token from this guy, so. True. Is it not? It's whenever Chroma casts a spell. Any spell at all. Yeah, yeah. That seems good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Attack Jace with voice. That's a good idea. I like it. That's not how any of this works. You know what that's from? It's from, uh, it's from Game Grumps. Oh, thank you. I got you, fam. All right. None of these cards are... Oh, that's our white source. They got a white source. White source online. Game's over now, bro. Also, pack around turn five, discarding knight if we have to is also totally fine. They just didn't do anything. Are they going to wait till our turn to do a thing? That's interesting. I'm game. Hmm. It's got to be Venser, right? Me thinks. Attacking seems so bad here. I think attacking with just voice is fine. The problem is Venter enters Venter enters the battlefield and then uh, the trigger goes on the stack, right? So it makes a it makes the token. Venter enters the battlefield. They can bounce the token. They can block here and then we get one token out of it. I'd almost rather attack with Monastery Mentor, but... How long will we play around Venter, though? I don't know. I guess we still get a token out of it and they lose their Venter, so... Just take two. All right. Seems good. Um, Ophiomancer or Huntmaster? <clears throat> I think Huntmaster. So if we play Ophiomancer, we get to play Conceal Courtyard and play Packrat and discard one next turn. Which could be better. I do like Huntmaster, though. If they're sitting on a counter, that's kind of funny. I mean, because we still got a free guy out of it, so. By all means, mana leak away. Nope. All our creatures are value. This is multiple creatures, this is multiple creatures, this is multiple creatures, this is multiple creatures, and this is multiple... We have so many value creatures. I'm impressed with our value creatures. I'm impressed with our brand game. I hate him. I hate him so much. Doesn't take much. It takes a lot. I'm I've hated you for all my life. All my life. I've hated someone like you. Yeah, that's Casey and JoJo uh, song? Yeah, I know that one. Okay, that's a good jam. Oh, God. Big oh. manas. Oh, God. Oh, they have their own. Hey, look, you came back to die again. I don't know how I beat that. Cool. Good thing you got those... Those double white sources in the nick of time. All right, I guess we're gonna pass here. And I did see the new spoiler for Alpine Moon. I also, yep, this is where they go Armageddon. It's gonna be wonderful. <sighs> it's too late to order fries. Yep, here we go. And are you ready? No, they don't have double white. Yep. Oh, wait, it's they don't need double white, white, and they do have double white, so. All right, that's the end of that. Let's try it again. 
I think that was that match was actually reasonably close. They don't have a Leshnor and double white and Armageddon in hand, but you know. The green screen fuzz makes look like I'm rocking a mullet. I don't actually see that at all, but maybe it's just me. Um this is a turn one this actually this hand's actually great. This is turn one Ophiomancer. Or turn one pack rat into more pack rats. What do you think about that? I like a pack, I like a rat. Depending I don't know what they have though, like so I'm just gonna play Ophiomancer and try to Ideally we draw some Alright, well you survived, which is good. Surviving is good. What's Mike doing in Urborg? Is Mike in Urborg? Is that where you are? You don't even know where you are, man? I have no idea what's going on. Are you drunk? Time. You might call it that. Oh god, he's got the reefer madness, everybody. He was smoking the marijuana cigarettes. Or jazz cigarettes, whatever you want to call them. Oh, because you're in the land. I get it. I get it. I see what's happening. That's actually pretty funny. I'm a big fan. No, oh, man, I was doing those whippets. Whippets? Yeah. Like the dog? No. Huh. With whipped cream? Yeah. What were you doing with them? Get all that cream out. Get that, get that dusty dust in there. Dusty dust? What are you saying right now, man? I added that fat stack of refer into the mix. What is refer? I think he's trying to be reefing. Hey, we won the flip. We're so good at this game. Oh, that was a good draw. Man, we're good right I hate you so much. It's not even. I just want to. I just want to murder you. Oh. We'll attack for one. I mean, we're definitely attacking for one. The question is, do we pack rat or sword? It's probably sword, right? I'd rather pack rat. We can make a token. Not this turn, we can't. Right, so I would rather not do it. You're right, okay. I thought you said I'd rather pack rat. I was like, but we can't make it. We're not gonna make it. No, we ain't gonna make it. Did you just miss a land drop? No, I played the Razor Verge thicket. It's only turn two, man. <laughs> it's hard I, to tell. I know, it's hard to tell because we got a bunch of stuff on the board, but... Oh, that is that is gross. Huh. That is utterly disgusting. Well, that's cool. I've had a, I'm having a good time. Magus of the Moon. Why did they include that? Well, that's nice. I guess we have some red cards in our deck, so that's cool. I guess we don't need all of this. Might as well just equip it with you. Well, I hope the sword gets there. Hey, we get to untap all our lands. All right, we're doing it. Hooray. It's on the bright side. We do have one basic land in the deck. Which lets us cast Sylvan Library, I guess. God, that's so brutal against us. Why did they include that? Ugh. Guys, I want to be honest with you. The Megas of the Moon deck is not, is not ideal for us. Yeah, look at another mountain. Oh, if we do that with the forest, we can cast Huntmaster. That's pretty cool. Yeah. This guy's so dead. There you go. Sure. All right. You had a good game. It was close. <sighs> Everybody, they played their best. Everybody spells. played hard. <laughs> oh, uh, it's not called Ravager. It's called Huntmaster. The back is Ravager. Okay, Chad. It's rude. You're being rude. Come on, forest. We got a 1 in 29% chance. I like those odds. Yeah, it's not terrible. <laughs> I like this hunt master. <laughs> oh, I see. You just killed my things. Oh, well, we didn't need that anyway. Hey, look at another mountain. We got fun police over here. Yeah, I was just literally gonna say, do you just mull aggressively to the Magus of the Moon now? All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna call it a day. Let's see how far the mountain would have, the forest would have been. Nope. Four. 
five, six, seven. I don't think it's in our deck anymore. It's going to be literally like the last card. This is not worth it anymore to, to click and then click, click, and click. Three. Still nothing. Nope. It's literally in the last eight cards. Last six cards is what it's in. Nope, that's not it. One, two. Oh my god, watch it be the last card in the deck. And that's the only reason I'm doing this now, because it's just funny at this point. It's literally the last card in the deck. Our forest was the last card in the deck. That's hilarious. I guess our odds were pretty bad then, huh? <laughs> uh-huh. I want to take the Krakus out for a Plains. And so we have a two outer instead of a one outer? Well, because we can also search for it. Uh, yes, so yes. We basically. can't search for it if the guy's on the table. Can't search if the guy's on the table. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. This is amazing. Oh, nope. That's not going to do it. This is not good either. They don't even need a Magus. <laughs> Just... Okay. Sure, I'll keep this still pretty unkeepable. They went to six? Oh, they went to five. Here we go. They're they're literally aggressive. They're aggressively milling to the Magus of the Moon. How is the forest going to be literally the last card in the deck? Come on, dude. Because of course it would be. Because of course it would be... Oh, I don't want to play Mentor here, but... It's too vulnerable to play a Mana Crypt right now. Like, I would not do that. Should have poured it out, Mana Crypt. Play Mono Red. I mean, if we draw a land, we can go Mentor into Mana, Mana Crypt into a guy. That's really good, actually. I'm pretty sure Thrun can single-handedly win this game, actually. We're not gonna take it! Hey, look, it's our friend. Always having a good time. I'll say heads and win the flip. Reanimate doesn't do anything. Gonna kick you in the face. Doo -doo 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 block. 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 I said block. I wish we had a swamp. We should have put a swamp in here too, I guess. You should just replace all of our non-basics with basics. Got them. That would have been good. Oh. I see. Hmm. Mm. His clock is now better than our clock. I've I've grown uncomfortable with our with our chances now. It's only seven damage, man. Well, the problem is, it's actually ten once we include this flip, right? Yep, there Nailed it is. It there every it time. Is. Oh, that's a good one. Boy, this sure was fun. <laughs> I'm he playing, literally aggressively mulligan to magic. I'm playing fun and interactive games of magic. You can't regenerate against confluence. What is that? Yeah. What? Okay. I mean, Confluence can only deal three, so I don't know why I'd have to. But yeah, I guess you're right. Unless Confluence has some secret mode where you get to pick four. Yeah, you got it. Right in my face. Right in my dome piece. He's like, I'll just wait it out for the mana crit. So that's literally what they're doing. They're like, eh, I'll just let that thing kill you. You got two turns, buddy. Yeah, get wrecked. Forest. Thrag Tusk? Forest next turn actually puts us in some pretty solid shape. Am I right? Yes, you're right. You stupid. Puts us in like okay shape, I guess. Great shape. Not to win the game, but to survive a little longer. Spots you. No worries, buddy. No worries. This is how I've we died. Got a Inferno Titan. Oh Jesus. I've got a handy bit. I'm just gonna go to the next game. All right, so we're O2 with this deck. I don't think this deck is great. I liked our previous deck better. This the Planeswalker deck was great. This is my problem with the lands because you end up not just a mediocre deck. Like, yeah, you, you don't end have up powerful stuff. Right, you're passing really, really good cards um, for lands, and you're hoping that you get playable cards from um, from what's left. Like I think the only way this this works is if you take the powerful spells and then take lands. Like 
you either take the most powerful card or you take the land. But I think when you're doing that, you're literally just that's how that's how you just draft the cube, right? You take powerful cards, and then when you can, no, you take No, but you lands. don't restrict yourself to colors. Like, you just take anything that's I don't see colors, Michael. Well, then then you're colorblind. That's true. I didn't want you to... Why do you have to bring it up? <laughs> you don't have to rub my colorblindness in, you heartless monster. I guess this is a keep. Yeah, I kept it. We got thrown on turn three. What problem is? How uh, are you going to do that? The key is to just draft a solid deck, but not in stipulation drafts when people pay for them. That's not how that works. What'd you say? That's how are we going to do that. How are we going to do what? what said we turn three throne. I don't know how we do that. Erdothar, either way, man, we had a good time. I think the uh, I think these matches have been pretty hilarious. Uh, our opponent going Eleshnorn killing our things into Magus of the Moon. So, not... Uh, and that's the thing. Like It's hard to get really super salty and upset about the cube because these matches are going to happen. Things like this are going to happen. So, you just expect it. Did you say something? I just blacked you out. I was still wondering how we're going to play a turn three Thrun. What do you mean? We got... Oh, th did I say turn three Thrun? You did. I mean, clearly I was mistaken. I guess so. I don't know, man. I just work here. Do you? What do you do here? What would you say your, what would you say your job here is? The funny bone. <laughs> your job is the funny bone? Yeah. I don't have any idea what that means. I'm going to be honest with you, man good is it good hey that's pretty good you might have to discard this turn you don't know I guess they do go to 10 and then they play a land they go to 9 so unless they play 2 cards this turn 3 cards this turn they're just going to go land monastery mentor mox uh, that seems like a preordained good set of plays. Mike is the bone. Wow, Blooming Marsh? All right, well, that's not... Well, you're discarding two cards. Wow. That was an aggressive Ancestral Recall where you discard two cards from your hand. Do people not know you can just, like, save Ancestral to when you... <laughs> you, know, you don't have to play it there, right? That makes that actually makes your Ancestral pretty bad if you have to discard two cards. It's like the worst brainstorm ever. Ugh. Did Somebody done me? messed up. It's like you're not even discarding, like, reanimate targets. You're literally just discarding cards, actual cards. What in the earth? All right. Day Judgment gone. That's like actually that. pretty good. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Um, Let's get a Bayou and play Thrun. Could play Huntmaster. There's no AST Rats. Just play a Thrun. Because they might, help. they might also have Counterspell here is the reason. True. So I'd rather just play the uncounterable boy. Yeah, try to counter it. Oh my god, oh my god, they might be counting it. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Yes! <laughs> they don't draw a card either, right? No. Yeah, because it says if it's countered this way. Nice. No, it just says draw a card. If that's well as countered this oh, way, put it in his own hand. Yeah, okay. Wow, that was fantastic. So, what we just witnessed here is our opponent Ancestrals on turn one discards two cards, then tries to remand Thrun. Uh, it was on turn two. Was it? Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. It was on the end of our turn three. Let's go... White. This guy's got a really powerful deck. He just doesn't know how to play it right, so <laughs> we might win. Oh, Kraken again. Unleash the Kraken again. Ancestral Faithless Looting. <laughs> That's pretty good. Faithless Recall. I like it. I am a big fan. I have good time. I am big fan. I have good time. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Stop, well, stop talking to me. Never. You'll never stop talking to me? No. Does this guy just resolve? No. Okay, well, it's not Cryptic Command. Is it Venser? No. Is it? It's not dismiss. It's not dismissing the cube. No. Oh, your favorite of mine. I actually kind of want to just. Coligon's kind of Mystic Snake and get voice back. Seems okay. Let's do that. Our turn. Get you. Shoot you. Because I don't have any like 
I like the way that came into your hand. <laughs> it was like oh, a... <laughs> it got real big at first. It did a little. It did a little like whoo, little xylophone action. Ancestral looting sounds like grave robbing. That's a good point. What is their deck? What is this four color shenanigans, man? Oh, that's a good dude. So is that. So is that. And we can just cast that next turn. That's nice. Also, Thrun is just going to take care of them on... What do you think is... That says Xylophone, I meant Accordion. What do you think is... Is that what you think a Xylophone does? Oh, fair. That is fair. I think we actually just play both of these guys. We'll yeah, play, play you. Voice first. And we have mana for Mana League, so that's cool. And we'll gladly take two. Look at our board. PowerPoint transition on that Colicon's command. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. I'm a fan. Uh, can we add a transition screen? Yeah, sure. Just make it go in and out real, like make it go real big and then go real small again. Yeah, I don't think there's a real point to doing that. Just do it. Just make it do that. You're attacking with Leovold. Just take it. I want to get Leovold off the board. Why? I don't know. Sure. All right, we'll take it. Do you think they got other? Do you think they got Wrath of God here too? If they do, they got us. But that does also deal with Leovold. I mean, it's a three for two. One, two, three for one, two. And then we also get a token out of it, so. What is going on? Oh, Toxic Deluge for five. That is better. Yeah, you actually couldn't regenerate Throne from that, so I feel better about that. All right, well. Can't do anything here, so we'll just deal the deal the one, I guess. That's a good one. Fantastic. Dreadbore one time. Hey. How does he do it? Nobody knows. It's all part of the magic of my life. So we want one, two, three, four. We can use both of these, I believe, because we got a white and a red. Um, white and red. And this should be lethal. Kill you. Got him. It's creepy, right? It's 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 absolutely creepy how many times I can just call the top deck, right? I don't understand how frequently it happens. Another called it Buck of Bits from Definitely Not Rob. Oh, that's good. I'm glad it's definitely not Rob. I like Knight on the draw. Remember the time we need to draw Dreadbore and there it was right on the top? No. Don't you remember? No. Cast Down does kill Consecrated Sphinx, which means I'll probably never take it out of the deck. Never. Freilies doesn't really have targets, right? What? Freilies. She makes tokens, bro. So? And one ones. <laughs> oh boy. How are you the way that you are? Hey, look, there's a Freilies in your opener. She doesn't really do anything, right? Yeah, she wins us the game, Michael. I don't know about that. I still don't think, I don't think this hand is keepable. No. No. I think this, this hand is, is better. Great. 
Mana Crypt on top. I like Hexproof with swords. Mana Crypt on top! Why, you want to lose to Mana Crypt again? No, I want to be able to go turn one Mentor into turn two Thrun. That's what I want, boy. Boy! We'll see. I don't think we have a... No, Ophiomancer? You can get out of here. <laughs> it's not like you are hitting the water bong there, buddy. <laughs> Maybe I was. Were you? Maybe. How can you be sure? You can't. Where are you, Forrest? <laughs> That's good stuff. That's good times. We can still get it. We can still hit it off the top. You ready? That's not it. It's okay. It's okay. Just be, a, just be cool. I mean, if we hit Mana Crypt again, we got to turn two through on. You ready? We didn't. It's okay. It's not a big deal. It's not a problem. Now we can have turn three Lyra. It's really good. We can hit turn. Well, we can't. We don't have no we don't have double white, so. Dang it. Dang it. Yeah, you're just lying. Dang right it. <laughs> Okay. Let's get. We want a white source. Down oh. to business. I guess we want a black source too. To defeat my buns. Did they give me Mike B when I asked for none? Do you want any Mike B? No, I don't want none. Thank you. Wow. That's messed up. Mana Crypt is good here because we can go sword into equip. Wow, that's rude. That is rude. I don't like my opponent anymore. Oh, I like this. Because if we get to untap, we can actually bounce the run on any future turn. If they don't, Day of Judgment or Toxic Deluge here. But we, they might. So we probably should have played Huntmaster first. Oh, I messed up. It's okay. This is We're going into round... We're going into hour six of this stream, so... They're just going to Day of Judgment this guy away. Now we're going to Huntmaster. And we're just going to keep it real. Yep, that was sad. No. Am I up for one more after this? No, because I have to eat dinner. Uh, it is... All right, Chef Sammy, I will do... I will back tomorrow, though. Is there is there something you want... We Are you doing something tomorrow? Can I get a land, please? <laughs> Universal Simulation Part 11D. I love you guys clipping these. Thank you so much. You guys have been awesome. Affinity, thank you, buddy. I'm keeping all these up so I can save them. And then I can pop them on the YouTubes. The tubes of you. That sounded weird. Pondare. Pondare. Chose not to shuffle. That's scary. I'm not a fan of that. Toxic Daily for two. Oh my god. Here we go. Ready? Life total's going down. Yep. There we go. Okay. We did it. <laughs> Land for Alira. Oh, it's the wrong one. That's... Ooh, now he gets to keep up his counter spell. Nice. Love it. On the bright side, if we drew down another land, we get to keep up our Caracas for Lyra, so... Oh, they do have Mystic Snake, don't they? That's cool. Give me, give me a red land so I can just attack you with Raging Ravine and then... Make you look real stupid. Oh, God, I don't want you to Mystic Snake this. I don't want to Mystic Snake anything. I don't either. <clears throat> I guess we'll just wait. I would like to see the alt pick stick. We can do that tomorrow. That sounds awesome, actually. It would have to be after Mike gets home, though. Seems reasonable. Actually, I have to go to dinner with my parents tomorrow night at, like, 5, so we could probably do a later stream tomorrow if you guys are okay with that. I'm just going to make it so they can't play anything. I don't even care. I don't even care. Can kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Real strangers. Okay, before I request, if I want to know if you guys would do it, pack one. Mike picks everything with Frank out of the room. Then he slides the card selected. Pain down so Frank can't see it. Frank picks pack two this way. And then you work through pack three together with full knowledge. Oh, that sounds that sounds interesting. I don't really have to be out of the room. I could. Oh, I guess I could be out of the room so I don't hear it. That is interesting. I'm just gonna take this path. 
Oh, maybe. What do you think? What do you think of that? Seems all right. Seem doable? Yeah. Boy, they're really taking the time here. Oh, all right. It's pretty good. So long, Lyra. Someday I'll make a Lyra out of you. Be a man. Mike must be quick like the raging. Why does he got Milan in his head? Nobody knows. Why does he get any song stuck in his head? Nobody knows. Well, I did start singing it, so it's probably... You did? Yeah. Gotta hate you so much. <laughs> You're basically the biggest monster I've ever seen. Redland. Liliana, huh? Lilian, huh? Mm okay. If you want a Mystic Snake, this. Cool beans. You got it. Man, be more, be more obvious about your mystics. I didn't want to discard anything anyway, so really. We won that exchange. Take your mystic snake and shove it up your poop hole. Shove it up the boot. <laughs> shove it up the boot, he says. You just looked. Stop looking. It's real rude. It's cheating. Stop peeking. Chat has to be in emote mode only. Actually, that, that makes sense. Do they have another counter spell? What do you think? Probably have 99. I'm sorry, what? They probably have 99. 99 counter spells? Yeah. I think they're just going to cast a card here. Um. I just want to path this guy, right? I really don't yeah. want. I really don't want to. Like, if we bounce them, they draw a card, so. Remand is real good here, though. Like, Remand. Oh, God. Vomit. Actually, if they have a random and they remand this instead, that's actually fine because you get to resolve Thrag Tusk. What up, no beats? Oh, they didn't get a... Blue source. Maybe they didn't have any blue sources left. They have to have islands. Never mind, that doesn't make any sense. Why did you crack that there? I'm very confused about everything that's happening right now. I'm sure we'll find out. Our record is currently 0-2. Not good. This has not been the most successful of the refs. Still gonna play this guy. Mana Tithe. Oh, that's brilliant. I hate our opponent's deck. Which one? Was it which one? The uh the Eleshnorn that killed every creature on our board? Uh the Magus of the Moon or the Day's Mystic Snake one? The Day's Mystic Snake one. Yeah, I was I was going too. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Why did MTG Bunch? Oh, he has Jason the Mind Sculptor, too. That's good. Of course they do. Is oh. this the same opponent that Ancestral on turn one and discarded their hand? Yeah. Yeah, that was good. All right. Well, what can you do? Oh, let me check out MTG Bot and see if they can actually 
fix my name there. That's interesting. Because I got a space in that name. Oh, don't be over there. All right, Jace the Butt Sculptor. Guess we can try to dreadbore it. Well, I'm going to dreadbore it. Don't you worry about that, buddy. I'm a little worried about that. You got two cards in hand. Uh huh. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Ancestral mana leak. I guess we can pay for mana leak. Yeah, but they're going to remand it because they don't have a second red source. Ooh, good call. They're going to just blink their Jace. They didn't draw any cards off of it. <sighs> we get to play a pack rat. And then they get to bounce it. That's fine. I guess that is fine, but boy, this is something else. Oh, set MTG username. Okay, so MTG O username. Has already been added. Okay, interesting. Record today, um, first draft we went 2-1, second draft we went 3-0, this draft we're 0-2 right now, but we're doing a land stipulation, so... This is pro green, and this is a green creature, so that's actually pretty reasonable. JK, mm -hmm. nothing about this is reasonable. Bounce it. It's not how creatures work. It's not legendary? <laughs> <laughs> it sure feels legendary, doesn't it? Yeah. All right. Well, it was close. It wasn't close. Was it? Yeah. Well, there's another game? Ugh. Yeah, bro. We, we got this. I'm totally... We got this. Oh, it's MTGO username. Whoop. MTGO username. Okay. Let's see if that works. MTGO username was not found. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Huh. Uh, I will play first. Is this even capable? Doesn't really do anything. I think this is better. This is better. We got Packrat and we have. Reanimate. Um, put you on the bottom. They also went to six, so they're just. Did a gross... they have consecrated things, or was that a different match? That was this one. Okay. Just checking. You are just checking. Just a checking. <laughs> so we got a white. We got a red. We need a green. Probably just gonna buy you. Let's see. All right, let's add. Yeah, I don't know why, that's weird. That's annoying. Crack this, we'll get, uh, we don't want a white, we want a green, we gotta go buy you here. Could we play Mentor, I guess? I like Pack right here, and then next turn we can actually 
um, play Mana Crypt, play Mentor off lands, then play Mana Crypt, and then get a guy? Is that better? I don't even know. Turn one, that would have been great. We can go... Actually, it probably is Mentor, because next turn we can go Rat and make a Rat. Right? That sounds reasonable. How many answers are they going to have for Pack Rat? I'm just going to make a Pack Rat here. Like, we haven't seen any, any individual answers for Pack Rat, really. We like Pout Exile. Oh, okay. We just go infinite rats. Like they have Day of Judgment and they have Toxic Deluge. True. I don't think Grandmate's doing much for us though. Well, maybe because of rats. We own it. I mean, I'm just gonna pass, and then if they if they don't do anything, we're just gonna make a rat at the end of their turn. But I like being able to. Uh, I like being able to play Mentor, reanimate the rat if they if they wipe the board. We can go Mana Crypt, reanimate Mentor. Pyrotechnics, thanks so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Vendillion Club. Yep, you got it. I'm not going to play anything in response. Like, I, I, we can just bounce this guy. If they want to replay it every turn for three mana, that's totally fine. Like, we can just discard or make a rat attack for four. Took the reanimate. Interesting. Hmm. They have seven cards in hand. The odds of them having one of their two sweepers is probably a thousand. But they don't have a second white or a black source yet, so who knows? Milky Chan, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt High Brood. Yeah, the rats have had make yeah, make correct. What does it make all right? What are we discarding though? Mana crypt. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Marsh Flatos. The problem with this is that they get to keep their Vendillion click after, like, throw a wrath, which is frustrating, but. And Toxic Deluge? It's gotta be for three, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, that's fine. They're at nine. Like, it's pretty aggressive. And if we untap, we get a, 
Oh, they could have days. That's really frustrating. So what do we need? Double black. We don't have double green. I think we actually just get a forest here. Aleshnorn and Lyra are double white. Master and Fraley's and, Thra and uh, Thrun are double green. I'm going to get the green. Mistakes were made. <sighs> Five mana. Treachery. Untap all your lands. Day of Judgment. Wow. Hmm. Well, that is fortunately, the... we don't get to punish him here. Yep, fortunately, we do not get to Lyra instead. That's pretty cool. So now they're just going to go land Consecrated Sphinx, I think. Which is fine. We have Path to Exile, and they didn't do that. So now they just get to keep up Mystic Snake for the rest of forever. And if they counter this, we actually get to keep up... Uh, yeah, they never don't have it. Oh, actually, that's just a counter spell. I feel like if they had Mystic Snake, you'd just play Mystic Snake because it um, uses more of your mana. Oh, they also have Vendillion Click in hand. Yep. Get a blue source, Vendillion Click. I mean, I would definitely not use Path on the Rat in response to Daylilies just to get a Rat token. Like we, they have they have cards like Consecrated Sphinx in, in their deck, and it's just not worth it. Getting an extra land for. Oh wow, that was actually fantastic. What can we get back? Pack rat or monastery mentor? That seems really good. All right, we're still in this game. Hmm. Also not bad. Also not bad. So they have four cards in hand. One, two. Keep up the path mana. Oh, wow. It resolves. That's great. Yeah, Kulagon's command is super impressive at all times. What is this you're doing? Sphinx is a revelation? Yep, Sphinx is a revelation. Seems good. Jeez, this guy's deck is gross. Oh boy. I'm waiting for the Snapcaster, Sphinx is a revelation, the Snapcaster Ancestral again. Actually, at this point, one, two. Snapcaster Sphinx is a revelation is almost just better. They only did it for four. It's not a tremendous amount. <coughs> Excuse me. Huntmaster feels legendary. How can you be the Huntmaster and not be legendary? Bone Shredder. Yep, I would love to bounce my own Huntmaster here, but alas, it was not meant to be. Hmm. Interesting. Just Thrag Tusk here. Is Huntmaster better? I kind of like Huntmaster. It's 
so we can play around Mana Lake. We tapped poorly if we want to play around Remand, unfortunately. No, it's not a Remand, it's a Mystic Snake. It's super obnoxious. Yeah, this deck just was not uh, up to par with the... I mean, they have 15 cards, we have 25. They've drawn 10 more cards than us this game, so... Reasonable. Yeah, it's not really a... I mean, they drew 3 from Ancestral, they drew 1 from Retaxian Probe, they drew 4 from Sphinx's Rev, that's 8 right there. Two of these are going back, but they're still drawing an extra one from here, so... We also have 12 minutes, they have 5 minutes, so. They've taken 8 minutes longer than we have. They got a lot of decisions to make. Apparently. Like, how many cards do I draw with Sphinx's Revelation? Do I cast my Ancestral on turn 1? Which counter spell do I use to get rid of their creature? All valid questions. Can we just draw a Leshnorn and have them not have an answer for it? Good luck. Well, that ain't it. Nope. One, two, three, four. Mm, yeah, sure. That's fine. Mm, 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 mm. Erdithar, no worries at all, man. No problem whatsoever. Stipulation was totally fine. Um, there we go. Kill the 2-2. Two, two. Actually, we kill them both because of double strike, but... have something else blink the wolf sure let's play can our opponent navigate a way to lose this game <laughs> I mean they have three minutes on the clock they have to kill us within that three minutes so are they going to finally activate Colonnade? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well. There you go. My final my final offering to you. But now we can just literally bounce this guy forever. We can play all the cards in our hand and just bounce this dude forever. Never have to worry about it. So they have to find another threat that isn't Vendillion Click. One, two, three. Actually, yeah, that's fine. And we'll play that. Uh, this guy. Oh, well. Beast within. Sure. Okay. I'm just going to kill this guy. Actually... The problem is they replay it and take the ultimate price. But it doesn't seem terrible. My concern is if they draw, like, Consecrated Sphinx, you know? Yeah. Like, I feel like bouncing this guy is just fine. Oh, God. What is this? Villainous well? <laughs> it's an X spell. What the shit? 
Genesis wave? Wow. That's interesting. Well, there you go. Does that count as a monocolored creature? No. It does count as a non-legendary creature, but I don't know if we want five constructs popping off. I wish it was a legendary creature. Oh, that's Hangerback Walker. I thought it was the other one to deal five to the dome. Oh, Walking Ballista? Yeah. No. I'd actually been much happier if it was Walking Ballista. Really? Why? That could just kill us. Let me go to three. We'll be fine. Oh, I see what you're saying. So we just kill it, yeah, and, and then actually have a... This is it gross? It's not great. Kind of priced into blocking here? Well, not yet. Next turn we are. Well, he's going to have a... Well, I guess we have answers to click. Yeah, we have literal forever answers. We can kill it and hope for a Leshnorn. We could probably wait, though. We could probably take this stack. One, two, we only have six lands, though, so it's, we got like a really got to... Got to really got to cross our fingers for the Leshnorn here. And him not countering it. Which is like every turn we've ever played with this <laughs> opponent. Hope he doesn't counter. Hope he doesn't counter. Hope he doesn't counter. It's consecrated Sphinx here? Wow, these draws have been just gas. Yeah, let's kill that. Feel free to remand it if you'd like. Oh, that is a land. All right, so we're one away from the uh, the old Vendillion clickums, or the old Leshnorn. Now we got the Leshnorn mana. Yep, got to resolve. I think we just kill it now. Yeah. Cause it's gonna get to a point where like we have to, we're gonna have to bounce it, and they're gonna be able to play it on our draw step every turn to make sure we don't get anything good. Don't you want to have used ultimate price? No, because Vendelian Click is legendary, so we can't use cast down on it. Yep, I will block. Top deck city one time. Our opponent also has a minute on the clock, so they're just gonna literally like win at the last possible minute. <laughs> Here we go. Yep, that'll do. All right. I mean, when you draw 30 cards more than us, I, 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 I can't be surprised when you win, I guess. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, even if you can support this uh, monumental loss for us. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And I'll uh, see you guys next time.